Hello, my friends. It's great to be with you. And I wanted to share with you something. I'm reading the uh, annual Read Through the Bible Plan, and I'm in the book of Genesis. And they're telling the story of Joseph, which I love and I never get tired of. And, you know, it's interesting. Of course, we know that Joseph was sold into slavery, basically. His brothers hated him, and uh, he was the black sheep of the family. But he was sent ahead by God to Egypt to, in essence, prepare a place for his family and, of course, the nation of Egypt during the famine because he was able to interpret Pharaoh's dreams and he knew that God was telling them that a famine was coming and so he prepared for it. So when he finally revealed himself to his brothers, he said, don't worry about all the bad things you did to me. It wasn't you, but it was God that sent me here to prepare for this famine and to spare you your life. And it reminds me, uh, we were uh, the men's ministry. We meet uh, twice a month on a Zoom call for a time of prayer and fellowship, and I really treasure that time. And one of the friends on the call last night was saying how um, that even he had been, uh, he'd undergone some surgery, and even as he was on the operating table, he was witnessing to people. And I thought that was so cool, you know, because surgery is usually not a very good thing for us to go through. But he took advantage of that and he recognized that God had put him in that place to speak uh, words of healing, to speak words of hope, to speak the words of Jesus to those around us. So friends, I encourage you, no matter what your situation, to see what God is doing. Look around, see what God is doing. Try and figure out why God has put you in that place, even if it's not so pleasant. Because almost always he puts us in a situation to advance his kingdom, to speak his word, to speak of the love of Jesus no matter what. So I just thought it was interesting how the experience of my friend on that uh, men's group call uh, coincided with my daily reading and the story of Joseph. I'd like to uh, tell you about our Love and Respect Marriage Conference that's coming up Friday evening, February 11th, and all day Saturday, February 12th. And one thing that I think it's important to know is that this isn't just for married couples. This is for single people, even if you're just thinking about getting married or may get married one day. The principle of love and respect is biblical. And it's in Ephesians chapter 5, verse 33, where it says, A man must love his wife and a woman must respect her husband. And it's really interesting that the writer uh, of Ephesians uses two different words there and for a reason. And when we can speak love to our wives and our wives can speak respect to us as husbands, it makes all the difference in the world. And this course I consider fundamental in terms of marriage. And uh, if there's only two courses you ever take, this is one of them, love and respect. So I strongly encourage you, if you have a great marriage, you can take it to a new height. If you have a good marriage, you can make it better. If you're hitting some bumps in the road, maybe you need a tune-up. And maybe you are a youth or a young adult. I encourage you to come and learn this fundamental concept because if you do, you will go into your marriage one day leaps and bounds ahead of most everybody else as you understand the concept of love and respect. In the email that you got this video, there is a link. You can sign up, register, and pay online. And uh, I sure hope to see you there. You know, our, our marriages in this country are under attack, and we need to do everything we can to strengthen our marriages and our future marriages as well. I really hope to see you there at the Love and Respect Marriage Conference, February 11th and 12th right here at Monmouth Worship Center. God bless you.